Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It is August 31st, and this is going to be your last reading. This is going to be an advice reading. I've already pulled some cards. I will shuffle uh, on camera from another deck, but we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit. Angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. First thing I'm seeing is they're really encouraging you now to go outside, get some fresh air, um, you know, get more grounded, go out in nature. That's what they really want you to do. I'm not going to read word for word on the cards. I'm just going to intuitively tell you what I pick up on. Um, for many of you, you're calling in a new partner. Now, this can be a love interest. This can be a soul friendship. This can be a business partnership um, that is high level. But you are calling in a new partner. So they said, you know, there's a chance, a chance meeting is no mistake. So pay attention to the new people that come into your life. Um, they want you to know that you have an opportunity now to rewrite the script of your life. They want you to clearly decide on what you want. What do you desire for your life so that you can manifest your heart's desire, okay? Um, also, with the giving and receiving, it's important for you to not accept any relationships that are not equal. Um, in order to create a balance in life, all relationships have to be an equal energy exchange. And so that's really important to remember. Um, you know, when once you've healed from a codependent pattern, it's important to constantly check yourself to make sure that you're not falling back into the pattern of overgiving. Everything has to be balanced, okay? They want you to see only love. Operating from a space of love, um, this is going to help you. This is going to help you to stay in a high vibration. So it's important for you to remain in your, in your ener the energy of love, okay? See only love. They are giving you trustworthy guidance. The spiritual realm is definitely guiding you at this time. So pay attention to your prophetic dreams, downloads, just intuitive hits. And the bottom of the deck, acceptance is very important. You know, they want you to see yourself through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. Accepting yourself for who you are, regardless of how other people view you. They want you to accept you and love you. Okay, let me put my glasses on, guys. Because in this way, you inspire and lift everyone. Um, to their highest potential. So that's beautiful. Now, when I pulled from the romance art, um, oracle here or the romance deck, I got eh, express your love. So when this new person comes into your life, it's okay for you to express your love. Um, if it's romantic, there could be a lot of flirting. You could be in this retreat energy, like this hermit energy, uh, disconnecting from the world because you're healing. But you're definitely calling in a soulmate. Like I said, this can be a romantic partner, a friendship, or... Um, a business partnership. They said, let your, your friends help you. Now, this can be the f spiritual realm because your spirit guides, the angels and saints, they are our friends, okay? Underneath that, this could be the one. Make the effort and true love. Wow. I love it. So be open. You know, your divine partner, if it's a romantic partner, could look different than what you imagine you would be attracted to. So be open to getting to know any new people that come into your life. Um, obviously, you're going to observe. You're going to observe actions and not words. Words mean nothing. Anyone can speak words, but the action is what you need to go off. People's actions, okay? All right, let's see. Um, I did pull from the Rider Waite, and I got some cards here, so I'm going to go through them. <sighs> Wait a minute, I got them. Okay, so you are empowered at this time. You've been taking time to reflect. You've been doing a lot of healing. Your perception has changed. You are ready now to take passionate action, to take a brand new leap of faith. I do see a gift and blessing being bestowed upon you by the spiritual realm, by God. This is you stepping into your destined path and purpose. This is going to create a lot of stability, whether it's um, within yourself, in your life, or within a partnership. It's equal in balance. The wands are equal on both sides. Four wands, and they're they're all equal. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, this is good news for the high priestess. This <laughs> is good news. All right, so let's see what else we get. I'm going to pull from a different deck and just uh, shuffle on camera. I mean, you guys, if you've, if you've been watching me for a while, you know uh, I don't fake anything. What comes out, comes out, and I have no control over what comes out. 
nor do I try to manipulate what comes out. So let's just see what we get, guys. For the collective, look at that. Your new investment is divinely protected. Why? Because you have surrendered everything to Jesus and you have um, set boundaries for yourself. You're no longer willing to accept anything but equal give and take. What does the collective need to be aware of, Holy Spirit? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know? Wow. You know, despite people trying to block you, creating an imbalance in your life through deception and betrayal, you're still taking passionate action. You're still being inspired to move forward. Yeah, because God's the one that's guiding you. This is a part of your destined path and purpose. So God's guiding you. Regardless of what you've experienced in the past, that is not stopping you from moving forward. You, you know who you are now. And you don't need validation from external parties, from the earthly realm. The only validation you need is from God, from Jesus. You don't need anyone um, agreeing with what you do or who you are. You have stepped into your most authentic self. Yeah, and people are heartbroken. People are heartbroken because they can no longer get to you. They can no longer manipulate your energy because you work for God now. You are an empress energy. You're high vibrational. You're loving. You're nurturing. You're caring. You give freely of your energy to those that are open to receive, that give equally to you. It's because you have healed. You are your most authentic self. You're embracing that. You're no longer concerned about people that want to believe lies about you. You're not. You know, this is an attempt to block your light. This is, you see what's up here. And you're not, you're not concerned. You're unfazed about the lies that are being spread about you. Yeah, look at that. You, 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 I saw the Queen of Swords. When they were having me talk about you stepping into your authenticity, they showed me the Queen of Swords. They're validating. You are being true to you. You are being true to God. You are not concerned about what anyone believes false about you. That's between them and the Lord. You don't care. Yeah, you're just walking away from them. Let, leaving them to their illusion. Leaving them to their lies. It's fine. You don't care. You're just moving on. Yeah, because you've changed your perspective. You can't. If somebody wants to believe a lie about you, you're not wasting your energy trying to convince them the truth. No, you know you can't. These are people that have to that are wounded that have to find themselves. They have to heal. So you're not wasting your energy on people that can't be helped. People that are never accountable for what they do. And they never will be until they awaken. Yeah, you see these these people as burdens and you're releasing it. You're not carrying these people's burdens. Whoever they are to you, you're not carrying them. Yeah. You know, these these can be people that, with the King of Pentacles here, this can be people that are really hyper-focused on status, on money. These are people that want you to feel like you weren't chosen. You don't want to be chosen by this energy. You're happy to be free of this energy. So it's no loss for you because your perception has changed. You're not seeking validation. You've taken your power back. You're not seeking validation from people in that energy. Yeah, look, you're the, you've taken your power back. You've set boundaries, and God is protecting you. Yeah, it's ending. Whatever has been projected on you, whatever lies have been spread about you, it's ending. Yep, that's good news to you, for you because now you're calling in partnerships that are aligned, that have your best interest. That's amazing. Yeah, we have a three of cups and a king of wands in reverse. This can be a third party connected to a king of wands in reverse. And we all know the king of wands in reverse is not only a player, but they're egotistical, self-righteous, self-indulgent. They're weak. They're wounded. 
they this is someone that is dishonorable selfish you're not concerned because you're focused on what god is calling you to create what's a part of your fate and destiny what what god wants you to do in this lifetime is what you're focused on yep which is leading your right to generational wealth building your legacy your imprint on this world your contribution to humanity you're a master manifester you can't be stopped because god supports you you can manifest anything you desire because you come from a space of love integrity honesty and loyalty yep you're focused on on planting those seeds manifesting reaping your rewards yep everlasting joy and happiness is what's coming for you new opportunities that lead to financial gain stability yeah and you leave people to their illusion you just you turn your back people that choose to live in their delusional life believing lies operating from ego operating from their wounds you just say you i leave you to it i surrender you to jesus and i leave you to it because you choose to operate in love you choose to operate in love yeah, and these are people that are bound to their illusion. You're too intuitive. You're too tapped in for this. You're calling in multiple wishes. You are this earth angel energy, and this is also divine intervention to block these people so that you can move on to peace. Yeah, that's amazing. This has been the theme of today, guys. It really has. You guys are doing the right thing, you know, and... If you still have people from the past trying to get back in and it's causing you pain, do cord cutting. This is only going to release you from the negative attachment, the negative energy. Okay? That that cord can can still be attached if they have an awakening, if they're accountable and they change their behavior. But for now, I would cut the cord energetically with that person whoever, or those people, whoever they are to you. Um, do cord cutting. All right. Let's do the star seed the star seed deck and see what we get guys what advice holy spirit what advice do you have for the collective what do they need to know for their highest good holy spirit holy angel saints spirit guides and ancestors what does a collective need to know please for their highest good breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe you know, this talks about letting go of control, surrendering everything to God, you know, accepting God's will for your life. All paths lead home, inner authority and intuition, turn your gaze within. You hold the answers to every situation within you. That is your connection with the divine, okay? Don't let anyone in human form try to convince you the answer of something that your soul already knows the answer to. Double mission. You're a light worker, a star seed. You serve the world by being you. Stepping into your authentic self. Accepting, you know, God's calling on your life. You're here to help others in some way. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. You have the whole spiritual realm supporting you. You are never alone. boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry when people from the past try to manipulate their way back into your life set boundaries their burdens are not for you to carry they have to do their healing work earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down take time in nature that was the first card out they want you to get out in nature i know i myself need to do that and then we got child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you what did i say do not let anyone manipulate you into making a decision that you know is a direct contrast from what your soul is telling you. Your soul has the answer because it's connected to the spiritual realm, to God, to source. Activated earth, power, place, power places, ley lines, trust, trust where you're led. You're being guided. And then we got soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. You know, this is all a part of your destined plan for this life. And once you accept the call, it's going to feel 
like you've done it before. It's going to feel familiar to you. And, it, and you're going to be good at it because you've done it before. It says, I remember. Soul plan. The fated life versus the destiny life. Yeah, you're going to remember. I've done this before. This feels like second nature to me. I don't know why it feels like second nature. For me, I've never read tarot cards, never read the books. God called me to do it because I needed to reach certain people on this platform. I had no idea. But you know what? Now I feel like I feel completely comfortable doing it. I feel completely comfortable opening myself up to the messages. And the cards are not the message. It's like the starting point for me. Because as soon as the card comes out, a lot of times, majority of the time, I already am getting the message before the card comes out. It's only the validation for me for what they're saying to me. I'm speaking it and they're validating it. But it's because I've done it before. I've been spiritually gifted in past lives. I've helped guide people in past lives in one way or another. So it's natural. It comes natural. And that's how you know this is a part of your destined path and purpose. And not everybody has to agree with what you do. That's not your business or your concern. You know, it's God is the only one we need to be concerned about pleasing. Okay, that's it. All right, guys, this is your last reading. I love you. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading or meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.